Hey everyone, Trevor at Top Loaded Gaming. It, it's such a good day. You know, I'm, I'm just excited. Okay, and the, the reason I'm excited is I have a couple of things that I'm doing today. One of which is going to be SNES Classics. Okay, for the time being, check this out. Okay, I've got four of them. Alright, now, before the angry comments ensue, okay, this is what's happening. Technically, I have five of them, okay? All five of these are going to legitimate people that wanted them. And, on top of that, no one had to pay over $80. No one had to pay over the actual price that these are sold for. So I'm very happy about that, for one, okay? What happened was, a buddy of mine messaged me, and he was thinking about doing the retro pie, and then uh, we started getting into controllers, and then it was kind of like, well, what if I just got the SNES Classic instead, and you could hack those, put, you know, whatever games uh, that they would want on it, and that's what I'm gonna give them for Christmas instead of a of a retro pie. So I was like, okay, sure, no problem. I can I can hack these no problem. Cause I remember hacking my NES Classic when it first came out. It took like 10 minutes. So this guy, it's one of my good friends. I don't mind doing it for him. And especially knowing that this pile of SNES classics is not in a scalper's hands or uh, someone trying to scalp because this time around they're not uh, having as much luck scalping them Luckily, but what else we have going on today? We have one more thing going on today. Just show the dude's name and Fucking address. I'm trying to dox Bithead 1000 right now. I was talking to Bithead 1000 and I had asked him to buy a shirt Because I was like, you know, I was honestly thinking like I need more retro game shirts to wear when I'm filming videos. I kind of like to wear, you know, shirts of, of video games and stuff when uh, I do these videos. So I was thinking a Bithead 1000 shirt would be pretty cool, you know, uh, to have when I, I make videos. And he, t he he's not like not having it. He's like, I'll just send you a shirt. And I'm like, you know, I I don't mind paying for it, man. You know, it's it's no problem. You know, let me support the show, you know. And he wasn't having it. Um, he asked for my address, and the package came in today. So we're gonna see. We're gonna check it out. It says, "Don't open this side." All right. So I'm gonna try and do this without uh, doxing Bithead 1000. So let's check out what's in the box. Alright, I didn't cut myself. Huh. <sighs> so busy right now. Like, I pro somebody's gonna probably walk through the door at any second. Okay. Oh, dude. Get out of here. Come on, Jesse, man. Alright. Let's. Let's see what he sent me. I'm, I'm gonna kind of self-doxing myself here, so that I don't really care about. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say like Bithead, you wanna come find me? I got the Mossberg, and I literally got a Mossberg just, just like Jesse said. I got the Mossberg. You wanna come find me? Come step up, you know. But I don't, I don't want to give people. Uh, Jesse stuff so uh, we're gonna set this down right there just for a second let's let's check this out look at that check this out Bithead 1000. That's nice. Shirt, you know, feels feels nice. Hey, it's uh, a Gildan. If, they, if I'm pronouncing that right, it might be Gildan. I, I, I don't know. 
But I tell you what, this Gildan brand, okay, that's not a bad brand of shirt, all right? I remember being, I don't know, 13 years old and going to like, uh, I don't remember the name of the store. Was it Gadzooks? I don't remember the name of the, the, the store in the mall, but they had all sorts of, it was kind of like the hot topic of today, meaning that you can only, it's like, if you're in person, not shopping online or, or magazines, which were popular uh, back in, in my childhood to shop on, uh, going to a mall, this was like the only store in the mall that you could get like band t-shirts. And I played guitar when I was younger, so I was constantly trying to find band t-shirts, all right? And I specifically remember buying uh, band t-shirts at this store and Nine, nine chances out of ten if you bought like a Stone Temple Pilot shirt or a Metallica shirt or something like that it was a Gildan shirt not only that I, I remember going to see um, who was it Rage Against the Machine I want to say UNO Lakefront Arena Rage Against the Machine uh, in New Orleans and my shirt my Battle of uh, Los Angeles shirt was a Gildan shirt so it's a top quality shirt, all right? If you're thinking about getting the Bithead 1000 shirt, I definitely recommend it because I, I could already feel this is this is top notch stuff, all right? Top shelf. Now, let's check out what he sent me because he he sent me something else. <coughs> okay, so we got a couple of things here. Okay, now for one, I've been staring at. Uh, his his duplicates that he's been getting okay and he had mentioned in a video before that uh, he was gonna work out some trades if anybody wanted to trade for his duplicates so I had been uh, at, uh, I had been eyeing uh, the the copy of mag max that he had because for some reason it's just a game I can't I've never been able to find and I've ran and I've run into a lot of games so far Probably 400 different NES titles, uh, and I've never run into this game yet. Uh, and I went to Retro Palooza, so I mean, what the hell is that about? But he sent it to me. You know, I I didn't pay for this. I didn't trade him anything. Now I'm probably gonna try and and repay him what I planned on on uh, trading to him, but uh, I as of the moment that he sent this I didn't give him anything you know so that that's really cool Jesse thanks a lot man and uh, who's this ALS video hey uh, hey Jesse do you remember this or uh, actually I don't remember I don't remember if somebody sent you this game or this is a game you found in the wild so I wonder what see it it underneath here it has uh, the inventory number for a rental store and ALS video etched into the to the cart and I kind of like that sometimes because a lot of rental companies were like mom and pop places so it's cool to sometimes find out about uh, some of these off-the-wall mom-and-pop rental stores like my local one was called Deborah's Movie World. You know, I promise you, in another state, unless you're from southern Louisiana, you've never heard of Deborah's Movie World. It's just not gonna happen, you know. Uh, but that that's really cool. Now, the next game he sent me is Ultimate Spider-Man, and these are both games I had I had told him that uh, I was looking for. Um, so. Jesse, man, I, I can't believe you did that, man. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't have to do that. You didn't owe me anything. You know what I'm saying? Like you didn't owe me a shirt or these games or anything like that. But uh, I, <laughs> I really do appreciate it, man. I thank you very much uh, from the bottom of my heart, man. I really appreciate it. Well, uh, you know, if if by any chance, and I, I doubt this is the case, but by by any chance anyone has not heard of, of Bithead 1000 and they're somehow on my channel, go over to Bithead 1000's channel 
that guy is way funnier than I'll ever be, way better of a storyteller than I, I am, you know, uh, but go check him out, link uh, will definitely be in the link of the dis in the uh, description below. So, with that being said, this is Trevor at Top Loader Gaming, thank you Jesse, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. I just put on the best shirt in the history of human civilization. And you better believe that.